what is, I think, a game changer is that it's not just about what's going to happen to you. DNA first can reveal what is happening to you right now because in a few instances, it's more sensitive than family history, more sensitive than personal history, more sensitive than exam, and more sensitive than any x-ray you can possibly do. So I think this is just a way we haven't been thinking about genomics, and it's a new and very productive way to think about it. We opened an actual clinic here at Brigham and Women's Hospital called the Preventive Genomics Clinic. And we are very clear about telling people this is a not standard of care. This is something above and beyond standard of care. Uh, but we are going to try to do a responsible job of sequencing your entire genome and giving you back absolutely everything we can give you back that we think has any medical implication that's valid. It could be good news, it could be bad news, it could be ambiguous news, um, and we're going to make a commitment to explain it to you. And we're going to make a commitment to referring you to the proper specialists if needed, and we're going to make a commitment to following you so that you are our patient and you, we make sure that you have proper follow-up. Hello. Hello. Hi, Mr. Mm -hmm. Dyer. Hi. Good to see you here. Thanks for coming in. What we found is that you have a mutation or a change in your DNA in a gene called GLA, which means that you are carrying a mutation for Fabre disease. It can be associated with other heart problems, though not necessarily those that you've had, mm -hmm. and also other problems around your body, which we're going to check for today. Okay. And this is one of the advantages, I think, of now knowing at least part of your story through DNA, is that we're now going to go and look for those other things that we didn't even know you were at risk for. Look. We all give lip service to the notion that we want a healthcare system that prevents disease. We don't want one that just waits till you have disease and then cuts you open or tries to give you radiation or pills with side effects. And yet, through no conspiracy, but through a, a whole series of alignments, whether it's reimbursement for procedures, whether it's the way in which we identify best practices, whether it's in the financial rewards for the pharmaceutical companies or the health systems themselves, we are not well aligned to create a healthcare system where we actually spot risks, focus on risks, and try to prevent disease. And when you go to 23andMe and you get back a product, it also forces you to ask, why isn't my doctor encouraging me to get something like this for my own health? And I respect the hell out of that. I think that is a huge contribution above and beyond the science and the debates about the science. 